Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how we can test our cars or trucks brake brake status and are these my my cars brakes okay or is there some issues or is there some too much like friction and or do we have those our brake pads and brake disc and and brake caliper stuck and that's we need to test this all of our four fields and this testing happens so that first we need to lift up these fields little bit up on this ground something like one fun feet or 30 to 50 centimeters and then when this uh, field is in up we need we should and actually we must also turn off we need to turn off this handbrake that there is no any braking force on and and handbrake is off and also manual gearbox is in neutral or in zero and automatic transmission that must be in this N like neutral position that there is no any gears on no any forward or reverse gears on it is like idea is that fields must be rotate free that they are easy to rotate and this first test is this moving test and this moving test test that that are my are my all brake brake pa, brake parts and those components free and and so well friction that our fields rotate easily and this easily means that that when I use only one finger and then I rotate that in this way I must have to to rotate that feel easily only with one finger in that way and all fields we go through all of those those our fields and then if we find some tire or feel what don't rotate like in one finger that we need to use all hand or maybe two hands that our feel rotates then we have issue and it and we can say that there is now something wrong and we need to repair that feel those brake components and normally there is issue that that brake caliper is stuck or then brake pads are stuck or then this brake disc is uh, bad shape it is like too much vibration okay but this is this first test that we need to rotate with one finger all these and this is like front wheel and then we go to look this rear wheel rear axle wheels okay and here we have this rear wheel and these wheels rotates really easily no any issues okay and now this movement test is fine and next step is that when again these wheels are in up is that we need to test our brakes <coughs> this brake force and for that test we need some assistant some human person or then we need some big heavy item or some big item what can press our car's brake pedal and then then next step is that i need to open this my car's this uh, front driver's door and then we need to look our cars those brake pedals because next we need our assistant who pulls and actually press little bit this uh, brake pedal something like 10 percent it is like small amount like one inch or two half inch away half inch press and it's like one one centimeter press and then we test that what happens when we press our brake pedal that how are these our fields moving because this is this testing because when we press this brake pedal a little bit more and more then this uh, brake pads must take contact and this is this braking force test and now when <coughs> when i don't have now any assistant in here i have in here only this big dry wooden lock what is 
But what is now like my braking force, I, it will break this brake pedal. And next, I start to insert this my pit lock in here. In that way, here it comes, and then, then it, it press a little bit this my brake pedal. Okay, and then it's important that when we insert this our braking force that that we first press that only one centimeter down, like in that way. And then we like to be sure that this this our wooden lock or then human person keeps that brake pedal all time in same position. Okay, and now there is this one centimeter this force and then we start to look that how are these my wheels now moving because there is this one one in half inch and now when I rotate this back wheel there is no any movement and then when then we go to look in this this front wheels next that what is situation there okay and here is our front wheel and then when I rotate that now I can feel that there is some force in there because this is much more easier to rotate. And then I must to go in this another areas in this front axle and check that this is left left side front wheel and then we go to check this right side front wheel also. Okay, and this is this right side and I think that this is also a little bit more difficult to rotate and that means that this is good signal because now we can uh, think that our brake system is working well. And then we go to add this brake force in, the, in this brake pedal area. Okay, and then I need to add this brake force and that happens so that I little bit move that my my wooden lock deeper an idea is to look that this brake pedal goes like one centimeter deeper okay now it it goes deeper and I actually insert a little bit more and then we again we check that what is now this meaning in this our brake brakes and it seems that this uh, rear wheel rotates Still, and then we go to look front wheels. Okay, and now I test this front wheel, and now now there is a situation that these wheels are difficult to move, and that means that now there is quite much braking force. And then when I think that this this don't move easily, we go to check also this other sides front wheel that it must be just just similar than that one. Okay and then I test that that how difficult is to rotate that and this is almost similar than this another front wheel tire and this is good signal. And then we do this final brake force test and this is full force and let's go to do that next. Okay, and then this full force means that I I press that now this uh, brake pedal in full force, and now this must be so that that this uh, this brake pedal is all time in this in almost in all force in there, and that means that now we have full braking force, and then we check that how those our wheels are moving next. Okay, and now we have this full force, and that means that that now this this uh, this rear wheel is almost stuck, no no movement, and then we go to check those front wheels. Okay, and then we check that how are these front wheels? They don't move anymore, and that means that now we have full force in on and. And, and because this another side was similar, then we can say that our braking force are in like balance. And this is this easy, easy test 
to test in our home garage and in our in 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 backyard that how our brakes are working working. Okay, and this was this information and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.